I know what you mean, that does look good. Oh, hi, James from England. E and I were just discussing. That looks pretty uh, healthy. And today, I'm going to talk about collocations for health, or a healthy diet. Let me explain quickly what that means so we can go to the board. Collocation, C-O means with or together, and location, come together, location is a place. So collocation means words that are usually situated together. They come together, right? So if you see one, you will probably see the other word. So I'm going to give you five collocations about a healthy diet. Let us not confuse diet. A lot of people think diet like the keto diet or the vegetarian diet. Diet originally means, and I mean it here, it is a the regular foods that you eat, that is your diet. It's not cutting down calories, so I'm not talking about not eating to get nice and skinny and slim. I'm just saying, what do you usually eat? For instance, cats have a carnivore diet. They eat mostly meat. That's their diet. They're not trying to get skinny for summer season, right? So that's what I'm talking about, a healthy diet. What do you usually eat? So let's go to the board and take a look at this healthy diet. Look at this, interesting, very interesting. Let's start off with what does it mean to have a healthy diet? Well, I think a healthy diet is a balanced diet. And what does that mean? Generally put, without, and I don't mean any insult, extremes. If you're a carnivore diet, it means mostly meat all the time. And if you're a vegan, it means no animal products whatsoever, right? Those are, I would say, on the ends of it. The balanced diet would be in between, where for the average person, because let's face it, I'm in North America. You may be in Saudi Arabia. You may be in Asia. You may be in Russia. The foods that are available to you are going to be different than when they are available everywhere else. So a balanced diet is keeping fruits, vegetables, carbohydrates like potatoes and rice, and balanced with protein, whatever that may be. Cheese, it could be fish or meat, okay? So a balanced diet is having a healthy balance that's not too much of one, so not too many fruits and vegetables only, and that would be like vegan for most people, right? Or having only meat, and that would be for a carnivore diet for other people. So we're saying keeping a healthy balance, making sure you have a bit of everything because our bodies require certain nutrients, right? And we can get them most efficiently and easily from different sources. Okay, so now that I've said that, that's what your balanced diet is. And what E and I noticed is that we have protein in the form of fish. And we have carbohydrates, because yes, vegetables have carbohydrates, or commonly called in North America, carbs. You will not see many people talk about the carbohydrates in these foods, they talk about carbs. That is your energy. Actually, protein and carbs can both be used for energy in different ways. But carbs, they mean not meat sources, okay? So keep in mind that carbs can be vegetables, but they can also be starches, which would be rice and potatoes. I don't have rice or potatoes here, but it is balanced. Half the plate is protein, half the plate is carbs, and the collocation here is a balanced diet. So if you say I have a balanced diet, people know you have equal carbs, equal protein. Now, let's talk about, well, we know animals live all year long, you know? Humans don't live from, some humans seem to, uh, May, and then in November they disappear. It's like, where did the humans go? They all die, but they come back in May. Animals tend to live all year long, so we don't talk about seasonal animals. You're not gonna hear someone go, the seasonal animal, this, no. Bears may sleep, but they still live. Uh, bees go to sleep. Some go to sleep, but they still live. But some of our fruits and vegetables, they die. In the winter in Canada and the United States, it's too cold for apples to be on trees. They just die. And they come back in May. But depending on where you live in the world, at different seasons, different foods are naturally available to you. So this collocation list I'm giving you is not about just being healthy for yourself but you might say it's also healthy for your environment. Many scientists and people notice that seasonal fruits actually are better for you because they're ready to eat now. They're not frozen and they don't add salt and make them wait, you know, so you can eat them six months later. So getting them in the season means they have 
maximum nutrition, which is good for you. So seasonal fruits and vegetables are good things to have, okay? What's the best way of doing that? So this is one publication, seasonal fruit or seasonal vegetable. The best way to get seasonal fruits or seasonal vegetables is guess what? They have to be locally sourced. There's your fourth collocation. Locally sourced means it, it grows in the area that you live. I am very, very lucky and fortunate, and I know this, because I live in North America and I can get a pineapple in December. I can get watermelon in December. I can have starfish or star fruit in December. In the countries these places come from, they have that season and no more. But we have everything brought to us. We don't have everything locally sourced. So if you're very lucky and you can have grapes, milk, uh, chicken, and pears and apples, and they're all grown around you, that's the best way to get your food. See so, you know, my fish? My fish comes from Lake Ontario. If you see the eyes, yeah, that water is poisonous. I don't think this is a good fish to eat, but it's locally sourced. I found it in Lake Ontario and it's dead for sure. So as we're going through, we want to have a balanced diet, okay? We want it made up of seasonal fruits and vegetables. We really want it locally sourced in your area. So if you're in Italy, eat Italian grapes, get Italian cheese. Oh God, Italian food, I'm so hungry now. Anyway, I'm sorry, back to the work. Yeah, so um, now what do we call these green things? Because the tomatoes, um, which are interesting, they're a fruit, not a vegetable. Please, please go on the internet right now because I know some of you are like, doesn't know what he's talking about. Please check it out. Seed bearing fruit. Tomatoes have seeds. Ah, told you. So are cucumbers. What? I'm blowing your mind. Extra information. So anyway, leafy greens are like spinach. Um, I love arugula. Arugula. And I was like, James is very snobby. He likes arugula, not lettuce. Love arugula. Spinach, arugula, collard greens, um, heads of lettuce, just normal lettuce. These are called leafy greens. And we usually use them as salads on your hamburgers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on your hamburgers too. Okay, these are leafy greens. They are good for helping with digestion. Okay, so you wanna have those with your salads or whatever you wanna cook it with because collard greens are pretty good by themselves. And another thing about a healthy diet is you want it freshly prepared. McDonald's says it's freshly prepared, but what they mean is made six months ago, brought to the McDonald's close to you, cooked, put in the microwave for another three minutes, and it's freshly given to you. Freshly prepared means literally you go out, cut that tomato down. Well, not exactly, but close enough. Cut it down, cut it up, put it on your plate. Freshly prepared. Or when you're cooking, I don't cook until you come. You come to my house, you sit down and say, I'm hungry. I go, okay, now I cook. I make it there when you're there. I don't go in the freezer, defrost it, and microwave it. Cool? So now I've given you five collocations for a very healthy lifestyle, and it will show your depth of English knowledge when you say, oh God, if you came to, with a, here's my fake world accent. So I would like to have some food, yeah, and uh, it must be freshly prepared, you know, I like freshly prepared foods, yes. And uh, the locally sourced, uh, that here at Ontario has very good food, yeah. They'd be like, bravo, that's absolutely brilliant, yes. Locally sourced, and you know that uh, Ontario has great seasonal fruits and vegetables? Don't try the fish, of course. They'd be impressed, even if you have a strong accent, because that is a very an excellent use of the English language. It's very specific and it shows you understand, not just in your own language, but in ours. We usually call that intelligence. So I've gone through my collocations for you. Why don't we go through a test to see if you've learned them and see if you can master the language and sound like an expert traveler in English. Okay, so I'm about to ask you something very important, something I've never asked you to do before and that's to make a promise. But I'm not going to say promise, that's not strong enough. I need a vow. A vow is a very strong promise. If you vow to do something, you must do it. Imagine you had a sword and there was a village behind you and you're the only one with the sword and the dragon's coming and you vow to protect them. That means to every little girl and boy crying behind you, like I vow to protect you, it means I will die before I break this promise. In the modern age, a vow is so strong that we make people get married to it. You vow to stay with this person till death. And if you don't, 
They take off your stuff. That's serious. Mm -hmm. Forget the sword. Off your stuff. Okay, so I want you to make a vow. Now you're like, no, James, no, <laughs> about leading a healthy lifestyle. But before you do, I just want to tell you I made a mistake. No, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Ooh, I am for you. I forgot to say lean meat. Lean meat. What is lean meat? Lean meat is food. Well, actually, it's animal meat that doesn't have a lot of fat. The example I can give you is chicken. A chicken breast, which is the breast of the chicken, is usually called white meat, and it has very little fat on it. In fact, it doesn't cook as well because there's not enough fat to absorb the flavor. It's good for you, but it it's not as flavorful as a leg or a thigh, which has more fat to absorb seasoning. That's why in a lot of indigenous foods or a lot of uh, native foods to certain areas, uh, they will use leg meat more than breast meat because it gets more flavor. Okay, But flavor comes fat. So to be healthy, you want to eat leaner meat. Now you'll see I have fish in a question mark. Well, remember I said chicken, right? So lean meat is usually considered parts of meat that doesn't have a lot of fat. And they usually talk about chicken, beef, and pork. I am going to raise the argument that fish is a lean meat. Why? Well, it's an animal like the other ones and it bleeds like the other ones. And just like the other ones, when it's alive, it's an animal. When it's dead, it's, you say fish. And I go, it's the type of meat. Just like we're meat when we die, believe it or not, you're just meat. So my idea, fish is lean meat. Now, because you will run into people who are native speakers and they'll hear you say fish is lean meat, some of them will go, no, it's fish. Fish is fish, meat is meat. They can make that distinction. In your head, you can go, yes, yeah, stupid. Yes, you are correct. But I know the truth. <laughs> so. Fish can be considered a type of lean meat in my little definition, but go by the strict one when you talk to native speakers and whatnot, okay? Now, let's go to the board and continue with our vow. So now you're gonna make a vow for not only learning English with me, or learning English, but to lead a healthy lifestyle. So here I want you to put your name. So um, I, uh, let's say, I, Bobby, I, Anna, I, whatever will lead a healthy lifestyle to keep both myself and the planet healthy because you are a good person and you want to do what's right. So now that you're going to do that, let's look at the collocations we learned and how they can best fit into the rest of our vow so we can keep our promise. We have to know what the promise is. So next sentence is, therefore I will only eat something food. That's food close to me. Now that doesn't mean go in your refrigerator and grab a beer and some chicken wings. That's close to you, but that's not what we mean. What do I mean? That's right, local food, locally sourced. So go to your local farmer and ask them, do they have eggs, uh, cheeses, uh, lean meat? And they probably won't have fish, but that's okay, but you can get lean chicken, all right? Locally sourced foods, things you can find close to you. In Italy, they have some of the best grapes, wines, cheeses, pastas. They don't need to go nowhere else. It's paradise there. Great food, I love it there. Anyway, next, what's the next one? I won't eat a lot of meat, but if I do, it will be, not having much fat on it. No, not Mr. E. Okay, you cannot eat Mr. E. He needs to come, he works for a living. He's gonna be on the board. What did I just say? Lean meat, right? Because it doesn't have a lot of fat, so it's better for your heart. What about this one? I will eat a lot of something at lunch and dinner. Now I put salad to help you out. Leafy vegetables. And when we talk about leafy vegetables, we talk about spinach. Ah, sorry, sorry, I can, I'm jumping ahead of myself. I don't mean leafy vegetables. You're gonna go, no, James, that's the, shh, don't tell anybody yet. Leafy greens, because they are green, like spinach, uh, romaine, uh, romaine lettuce, spinach lettuce, ar arugula, which I love. I'm looking and thinking about all of these things, but leafy greens, and those are usually in your salads. When you have a Caesar salad or a Mediterranean salad, they're leafy greens. Now. What about this one? I will only eat something. And this is important for helping the planet because when you get things 
brought in at different times of the year when you shouldn't have them. We have to use ships and airplanes and that pollutes the planet. So, oh my gosh, I sound like a tree hugger. I'm not, trust me. <laughs> but what do we do? We want to eat something in the season. So seasonal fruits and vegetables, right? So in Canada, we really shouldn't be having pineapple in January. <laughs> We've got that much snow. When I say that much, I'm not a tallest guy in the world, I'm not that tall, but the snow comes up to here. There is no room for pineapples, okay? You gotta go to the Bahamas, man. <laughs> anyway, but we get it in January because that's where we live. Now, finally, I will eat a something. And I told you when you have something that's, you know, like weights, the scales of justice, they must be balanced. A balanced diet. And remember, when I mean diet here, I don't mean you're going to try and lose 10 pounds before the prom to fit into your nice dress, or you want to look good on the beach. I'm talking about your regular foods. So what you eat for breakfast, lunch, dinner, all year long for the last 10 years is your natural diet. I hope you did well on the quiz. You know, we have a better, bigger, badder, better one at Ingvid. But before I get to that, let's give you your bonus. We talked about the good. Now we're going to talk about the bad and the ugly. Because when you're not doing this and using these collocations to talk about a healthy lifestyle, you may be using these other ones. Okay. Now, processed foods. This is a really interesting one because people at McDonald's might say their food's not that processed. I say they're lying. But they might, they might say, no, no, it's actual 100% beef. Now, here's the key because this is from the Fu Food and Drug Administration from the United States of America. And what they say is this. This is paraphrased, but basically, any food that has a process applied to change its natural state is called processed. So even if the beef is from a cow, that's not its natural state. <laughs> Have you ever seen a cow burger? You know, it's got like ground beef and it's, it doesn't go moo because it's cut up. And you just take pieces off and eat it? No. You have to take that meat and then do something with it. And sometimes you add a little salt, some pepper, some dum -dum 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 secret ingredients that we don't know. <laughs> you know, um, things to keep it stay longer and fresher, you know what I'm saying? So that's not its natural state anymore. That's called a processed food. So if you take an apple, you might say, well, James, I'm smart. They wash the apples. Does it look like it came off the tree? Yes, that's its natural state. That's not it. Applesauce, processed food. Apple juice, processed food. Apple, that's been cleaned. You lucky bastard, someone cleaned it for you. It's, it's a natural state, okay? Now, uh, that is anything that's packaged, usually packaged because they cut it up and do something with it that's not just its natural state. So think of hamburger versus steak. Think of applesauce versus an apple, and you can follow it from there. When they change it from, you can look at it and say, I know what this food was before I took it, okay? If you don't, if you can't recognize it, then it's a processed food. Next, fatty food. Do you remember we talked about lean meat and that's why I had to talk about this one? Fatty foods aren't good for your heart because they contain a lot of extra fat that your body cannot process. So if you eat a lot of fattening foods, sausages, my, my heart is you know, lots of cheesy pizza. Come on, come on, baby, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> that's not good for you. So if you say my diet is high in fatty foods and processed foods, you're probably gonna see the doctor and the undertaker. I'm not talking the wrestler, sooner than you would like, all right? So you want to eliminate those. Now, for the homework, I'm gonna separate the hits here. Okay, homework is this. Um, this is for your own good, so you're only gonna get mm, five points each. Yep, so when it's good, you get nothing. <laughs> this one's a joke, so in case you don't know, I'm telling a joke here before you start telling people, but if you get it, that actually, if you get the joke and you put ha 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 because you get it, you don't get five points, you get a million points. If you just write the answer and you don't find out why it's funny, stay with five because you've got no sense of humor. So the first one is, the fish is something. I stole it from my friend's dinner plate. It's funny. Yeah, it's right there. It's right there. Whatever. Okay. Question number two, I eat a something with a mix of lean meat and seasonal vegetables. Cool? Well, that's what I got for you today. 
I hope you keep your vow because that means you will stay around longer so we can work together where I can keep my vow to help you learn English. Okay, so I'm going to get going, but before I go, please make sure you stop by www.ing as in English, vid as in video.com to get the larger quiz to this. And also, um, I've been saying it recently and I think I'll keep saying it because I think it's true. If you're still listening to my voice now, you like this video because there's nothing more and you're still waiting for something. So press like, please. And outside of that, if you've been watching this and it's like your third, fourth, fifth video, subscribe because I think you want what I have to offer and the most efficient way to get it to you is to subscribe, press the bell, and you'll be notified the next time one of my videos comes out. So I won't be one of those people because I see it all the time. Teacher, where have you been? We don't see you. And I'm like, I come out, you don't look till three months later, mm. but it's there. Don't be one of those people, hit the bell. Anyway, I gotta get going. You have a great day and I will talk to you soon. Locally sourcing my dinner tonight and order some pizza. <laughs> I'm so funny. No, you're not.